everyone, welcome back to Body Haven Soaps. My name is Darlene, I am the owner and creator of Body Haven Soaps. Um, and on this channel we go over recipes, uh, ingredients that we use in our recipes, why we use those ingredients. The whole purpose of this channel is to try and help um, other creators with things that I've come up with um, and get feedback on stuff that I've come up with um, and demonstrate what I can grow as a community together. All right, so today's video is going to be all about creating a solid dish soap. Solid dish soap has become a very popular thing. We're seeing more and more of it out there um, simply because of the less waste, okay? So plastic, at any time that we buy something that is liquid, whether that be shampoo, whether that be body wash, dish soap, laundry detergent, all of these things come in plastic. Okay, usually if it's a liquid form, it comes in a plastic container. Now, we, we did an example the other day of the shampoo bar, um, and the shampoo bar is approximately, um, you know, three bottles of shampoo. So that's three uh, plastic containers that don't end up in our landfill. So with the dish soap, the whole purpose of this is so that we can make it so we're not using plastic containers because it's a solid form. And on top of that, we want to make it last so that it is a long lasting product. Okay, so we're going to do two different types of containers or, or one container and one non packaged um, to get rid of the plastic and, and stuff that goes into our landfills. We need to either have something that is a reusable container, something that has no packaging or something that has biodegradable packaging. So the options for my dish soap that I've come up with is little containers like this. They're about four, three and a half, four ounce containers, um, and they are reusable. So we're going to do six of these, and I've got them in three different colors, pink, white, and black. So we'll do six in total, two of each color, and just see how that turns out. And then we're also going to use a, a mold, okay, a silicone loaf mold. And then I'm going to cut this into bricks or, or blocks um, of dish soap. And these will be either, well, probably for my labeling, I'll use the biodegradable uh, craft paper um, for my labeling. And I use biodegradable um, packaging for all of my packaging. So we will... Uh, do that and see how that goes. Now this is the second time that I've made this. The first one worked really well um, as far as cleaning the dishes, but I found it very drying to the hands. So I've made some adjustments to it so that we are able to create um, something that's not drying to the hands, yet is a very good cleaner and cuts the grease. So um, the base of this recipe is going to be coconut oil. Um, coconut oil in a cold process method is a very, very um, good cleaner. So it helps clean the dishes really well. Now we're also going to put castor oil in it to try and alleviate the dryingness to the hands while we're doing dishes. Um, as well as we have citric acid, lemon juice um, to help with cutting the grease on the dishes, those types of things. And I'm also putting in a sodium lactate um, to help harden this. As I said, I want this to be a lasting product. So with the coconut being a very um, hard oil in the cold process soap method and then adding that lactic acid we should have a long lasting very bubbly okay um, dish soap so so we're going to get started I'm just going to move the camera to position you so you can see better and then we'll start going over this Adjusted here. I'm just going to put on my gloves, my safety goggles, uh, and put my hair up. All right, we'll just move things into the position that we need. All right, so to start off with, we have our coconut oil. So this is just, let me readjust that camera slightly. All right, so this is just 100% coconut oil, okay? Um, that's all that's in here is melted down coconut oil. And just so I can give you guys the measurements here, um, the coconut oil, we have 30 ounces 
or 850.49 grams, okay? So 30 ounces of the coconut oil, okay? That has been melted down. And we want our temperature to be fairly low uh, for our oils and our lye, okay? So we have that. Now with the castor oil, we're using the castor oil to help stabilize the, the bubbling um, and suds of the dish soap. We're also using this so that it's not so dry into the hands because coconut, a straight coconut oil soap is quite drying. So we wanna bring up the moisture, okay, that's in the soap bar, but we also want this to help stabilize the, the lather. So we're putting in two ounces, okay, of the, yeah, two ounces, sorry, just wanted to make sure I was being correct. So two ounces or 56.70 grams, okay, of the castor oil. This is the first time I've made it with adding these adjustments. Um, I did have a little bit of castor oil in it before, but we're going to give it a go with some more. So we'll see how this works out. All right, so that is our oils. Now, in our lye mixture, um, I have citric acid, okay? So I have a mixing lye video um, in, my, in with my other videos. Um, of how to mix lye safely. Now, what I've done, um, because I'm not just wa mixing water and lye, um, I dissolve the citric acid in the water and then add the lye. Now, there is a, the temperature is going to rise quite high because now we've, we've added more than just water in here, and you are going to see a little bit more fizzing. So I suggest that you have a tall container, okay, uh, with lots of room in the top, and do this in, in a sink. That way, if anything happens, it's not the end of the world, okay? Make sure you're wearing your safety glasses, long sleeve shirts, got your uh, gloves on. Um, it doesn't bubble that much, but it does bubble. So you wanna make sure that it's a nice tall container um, and you dissolve the citric acid and then put your lye in there, all right? And I would suggest doing that in a sink. All right, now because I have citric acid in here, I obviously don't want to have my lemon juice right in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is add my lemon juice in once I've got the lye mixed in there, okay? And then this is the sodium lactate that we need to add, and I'm using uh, lemon essential oil for our fragrance, okay, to give it a smell. So what we're going to do now is I'm gonna get my mixer and this is a pretty straightforward recipe. There's just some additions in it. So we're gonna get the hand blender here, immersion blender, get the air out, and we're just gonna make sure this is all mixed good together, okay? And this is going to move fairly quickly, okay? So we, with the citric acid and stuff in it. So now we'll put our lime mixture in here, okay? And I'm just going to use some of my citric acid isn't completely dissolved, so we're going to stir that up a little bit. Okay, and we're going to pour that mixture in with our coconut oil. Okay. And then we're going to bring this to trace. And we're not going to add any colorants to this or anything. There's no purpose of colorants. I mean, you can, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, but I'm just going to leave it a white natural color. Now my coconut oil was at 82 and it's now 95. So, and my lye mixture is about the same. So it does warm up a bit. That's normal for once the emulsification process starts. But I was curious with the citric acid how much it would move. Okay, now we're going to add in our lemon juice. 
And I have one ounce of lemon juice. And you're gonna see it start to move fast once you start adding these things in. The lactic acid is gonna be oops, the last thing that I add. Don't want a bunch of bubbles in it. Okay, and then we're going to put in our lemon essential oil. And make sure you're measuring your essential oils uh, according to your soap. Remember all recipes need to go through um, your soap kelp. There's a video on how to use soap kelp uh, in my playlist as well. And we put in one ounce, okay, of the essential oil. That is what I am allowed to use for my percentages allowed. And I'm just wanting to make sure that this is emulsified well, that I've got it way past trace. So you can see we're getting there. And we've got that definitely emulsified. I'm going to use my spatula and just scrape this off. our lids off of these containers. Okay, so this is starting to thicken up fairly nice now. And we are just going to pour it into these containers. I want to pour it before it gets too thick so I got a nice smooth top. Remember that those, oh I probably filled that one a little bit too full. Remember the type of container you're using. This lid has a little lip on it, so I want it to be able to sit. Um, that might still work. I think about that full is about right. So you can see how this is thickening up nice. And I don't think that I have enough product. Bump those down a little bit to fill this mold. My calculations are a little bit different. So what we're going to do is grab a different one. This, it's a little bit smaller and then I can cut it this way into three bricks. If it's shallow, that's fine. Okay, 
gonna be in your way for a second. I gotta change my camera setup. I actually have uh, new tables coming. I'm gonna get a new camera. Hopefully get things going a little bit better in here for you guys. All right. And I'll just cut these bricks the other way. Just level this off. Like so. how I've designed to make the solid uh, dish soap. Um, we'll see how this one works out. The last one worked well and I've just changed a few little things uh, with this one, a little bit more lemon juice and a little bit more uh, castor oil. Other than that, it's exactly the same. I'm just trying to make it so it's not so drying and then the lather is more stable. So once these have gone through their curing time, the next 48 hours, and then they've hardened and become a nice solid um, just so we will run a quick little video on just how uh, it worked and we'll do some dishes with it and see how that turns so um, look for that video coming up within the next little while here um, hopefully you found some of the information uh, helpful um, throughout the video today um, if you did please give me a thumbs up if there's certain videos you're looking for things that you're interested in or, or Information that you're looking for just comment in the comments below and I can do future videos on that. All right Thanks for watching